so hello guys so welcome to my session so in this session i have discussed about like what are all the customer requirement in kubernetes project so recently i have created this type of session so like i have uh, created approx 20 plus uh, customer base requirement so each session have every the customer requirement like which type of customer requirement or client requirement in the existing kubernetes project so that you will get a real time exposure and you will like better to explain to the interviewer like this type of requirement you have generally uh, given by the customer okay so you can see in the in my dashboard or in my screen like i have already created a prof 20 plus scenario 20 plus uh, customer base requirement and i will show you some like uh, earlier we have discussed about some troubleshooting session like which type of uh, troubleshooting issue which type of issue generally we face in the kubernetes production environment so in the earlier session i have created 20 plus live troubleshooting issue like i have created those uh, issue in my in my project and i have explained like i have fixed those issue in my lab also Oh, but after now like i have recently launched a new series about the uh, customer requirement so in this requirement like sometimes the customer want uh, kubernetes cluster so this is the one of the uh, use case or one of the customer requirement like the customer want this type of setup in the in the in the project like customer want a uh, kubernetes cluster should be running in private cluster the kubernetes should be have some required version it should be in the existing vnet because already the uh, customer ha has some vnet like so we have to create our kubernetes cluster in the existing vnet okay and they want some like there are two types of network plugin like one is cube uh, one is cube net okay and second one is the azure azure cni so the customer want like i want to use the azure cni and they also enable the the ability zone in the kubernetes cluster and they have requirement like uh, you have to create two node and both of the nodes should be running in different zone like node should be running in zone one and another node should be running in zone two okay and the cluster should be integrated with azure ready and rbac so how do we like proceed how do we like uh, so set up the cluster in this environment so i have uh, i have very explained i have like i have used the uh, agcli command okay i already share the command in the description box okay and i have set up the cluster like uh, what the customer requirement like uh, the node should be in two zones so i have created the same thing okay i have created the private private cluster and i have set up all the uh, all the things like what the customer want okay so in this session i have covered this type of topic like the what are the customer requirement like uh, uh, with below condition like customer want a given cluster with below condition so based on that i have created uh, approximately uh, 11 project here and we have 20 session here in this uh, series so few are like uh, during the cluster setup sometime we are getting some issue so those things also i have discussed in this session you can see it here so during the cluster creation we are getting like uh, the cluster having some issue like we are facing some issue during the cluster setup so those things also i have fixed uh, in this session like you can see it here like uh, there are no pre-allocated ip62 so has been some exceeds like okay so you can see it here like uh, let me go back So th we have getting some insufficient subnet size uh, during the cluster setup. So how to fix this issue? And after that, we have set up the Kubernetes cluster. So you can see it here. Now you can see it here, the cluster is up and running. So I have extended the subnet and after that we have running, we have rerun the our, our AGCLI commands. You can see it here, the cluster is creating a state. 
okay so this is the second project too and another one i am getting um, yeah this is another requirement like customer want like they have one deployment file so inside the deployment file we have mentioned the replica so the we have set a two replica then customer want like i want both ports should be running in single node sometimes they want like both ports should be running in two different node okay so sometimes the application has they want like both of the pod like one pod pod one should be running in div node one another pod should be running in node two so this is the requirement so how do we achieve this one okay so you can see it here here we have two replica and the customer want to schedule both of the pod in two different node so how do we achieve this one okay so this type of customer requirement in the existing project so whenever you will get a chance to work in the kubernetes project you will encounter this type of requirement so in this case the customer want both of the pods should be running in the same node okay so i have explained i have like explained and i have I, and i have already provided a solution for this requirement so that you will get a real time exposure and you can better explain to the interviewer they, when they ask like about tell me about your challenges tell me about your issue tell me about day to day tasks in the kubernetes environment so that you can explain it very well so in this way say so in this project also like the customer want all the nodes should be running in zone 1 so how do we achieve this one how the do we create a node in the zone yeah. 1 so those things I have discussed in the environment. So if you see here, we have two worker nodes are running there. One worker node running in zone one, another worker node in zone running in zone two. Okay, so this is my existing project where the both nodes are running in two different zones. But the customer want like all the nodes should be running in only zone one. So might be they have the project requirement or application requirement. So this type of requirement uh, like uh, the customer want to uh, run all the worker nodes should be running in zone one so those things I have explained in this session so these things I have explained it and I have I'm, I'm, I am giving the details in the description box so if you want to uh, learn this uh, customer requirement series then you can uh, ping me okay and earlier we have also discussed about some live troubleshooting session okay here where we have explained all the issue like uh, it's up to 20 20 plus issue all the issue are related to our production environment like sometimes port getting missed pullback sometimes application down sometimes port sign crash loopback sometimes like uh, uh, mm, sometimes like our uh, get issue get, we, sometimes we are get, getting issue into the PVC level so how do we fix the issue some the pod stacks are in pending state I am going to on create the affinity rules so those things I have explained it in this session like I have created I, I have created those issues and I have fixed those issues like what all the method what all the way of troubleshooting way same thing I have explained I have uh, st apply in my production environment and you can consider this is like a kubernetes project and and you are working on this type of project okay so that like you will uh, get a real time exposure so we have three series in this in this channel one series is like about the real time uh, training about like uh, uh, like we have already uh, let me show you mm. so in this uh, in this channel i have covered three series one series from uh, kubernetes uh, training from basic to advanced one and few videos on the real time issue like uh, and another session is on the scenario based session like where the which type of customer requirement what are the uh, which type of requirement like uh, we are getting by the client or customer or the our application team so those things I have explained it in this session like live troubleshooting, customer requirement and real time training. So in real time training I have covered mostly about the real time topics like the real time topics are how do we create the cluster, how do we service we are using in the production environment, uh, how do we create the SSL certificate, how do we take the backup of entire namespace, entire cluster 
and what is rancher how do we set up the rancher and once you deploy the application suppose you had deployed the application okay like suppose you had deployed the tomcat application or you have deployed the like uh, uh, you have deploy any jenkins application and you want to access the jenkins application but your application not secure so how do we apply the ssl certificate so in this see you have you can see like your connection is secure so how do we apply the ssl certificate how do we create a tls certificate so i have explained those things so you can see certificates value so in the production environment also uh, once you have created any application pod so you have to expose the application through the some url like www.jenkins.com so after that you have to create ssl certificate this is mandatory like whenever you work in the project so it's the mandatory task you have to apply the ssl certificate you have created the tls certificate so what are the method to create all the things like how do we create the ssl certificate how do we create the uh, generate the csr files so all the things i have explained in the in this training okay and apart from that i have uh, i have explained like uh, uh, how do we create the repository private repository how do we create the image post secret so that our cluster will authenticate our azure container registry so those things i have explained in this series also so recently i have created a new series about the customer requirement in the kubernetes project so this type of uh, uh, topics i have covered in this session like client requirement in kubernetes project so this is all the things i have covered so thanks for watching thank you